The death of a family dog on board a United Airlines flight has prompted outrage nationwide. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more social media and trending news every day. Catalina Robledo and her two children were boarding United Flight 1284 from Houston to New York's LaGuardia Airport when a flight attendant noticed their dog carrier sticking out a little into the aisle. Despite telling the flight attendant that their puppy, Coquito, was in the bag, the flight attendant stuck it in the overhead compartment anyway. The flight attendant came and she's like, you can't put him there because he'll block the path. And then she says, you have to put him where the baggage goes. And, and she just, she's like, oh, I'll help you. And then she held my mom, put him up there. And she just closed it like it was a bag. After a three hour long flight, Catalina removed the bag and found that Coquito had died. The family says they did everything right. Coquito was in a TSA approved pet carrier and they'd paid to keep him under the seat. There was also no issue on the first flight from New York to Houston, only the second flight. Come to Coquito, wake up, wake up. And and she still, he's dying. My mom was trying to like, she was hitting him in his chest so he could breathe, but nothing worked. Coquito was a 10 month old French bulldog that the Robledos thought of as a member of the family. 11 year old Sophia said, he was my best friend. I slept with him. He was a big support for me. The flight attendant has since claimed that she didn't know there was a dog in the carrier. Yeah, sure lady. There was a dog in the carrier when they said, hey, there's a dog in the carrier. That's it's face right there. You see the dog's face? The family even said she lifted the bag herself and could hear it barking. United Airlines has taken responsibility for the incident and in a statement they said, this was a tragic accident that should never have occurred as pets should never be placed in the overhead bin. We assume full responsibility for this tragedy and express our deepest condolences to the family and are committed to supporting them. We are thoroughly investigating what occurred to prevent this from ever happening again. Also interesting is that United initially offered the Robledo family money to keep quiet. A little bit of hush money there, United. Mm-hmm. And there's no way that United isn't getting out of this without a cash settlement. But honestly, how much money is it gonna take to replace the life of your pet? This story blows my mind on so many levels. For one, I feel so sad for this family. On one side, why did the family allow this woman to do that, regardless of the situation? I, they, they had to have known that this would be a problem in some way, shape, or form. And then on the other side of the coin, this United person is complete garbage. I'm sorry, but again, this is a life. You never put a life in a box. That is just not what you do. And poor animal must have been so freaked out, just the thought of, it crying and barking above them while the flight is going on, like <sighs> And many passengers have posted to social media with their reactions to the incident. Passenger Maggie Greminger tweeted just after the flight with a photo of the distraught family. She wrote, I wanna help this woman and her daughter. They lost their dog because of a United flight attendant. My heart is broken. Flight attendant was asking her to move it, continuing that request, even though the passenger was mentioning it was a dog. And passenger June Lara said she held Catalina's baby as she tried to resuscitate Coquito. She says she's never flying United again. Are you pissed off yet? Cause that's how I'm feeling and I know a lot of other people online are feeling the same way. Sound off in the comments. The Bella Twins tweeted, F that flight attendant on United Airlines. Never again will I step foot on that airline. Wanting to pay the family off? You're sick. Lisa Vanderpump said, shame on United Airlines, what a disgrace. Poor little guy suffocated, fire the bitch, please. Believe it or not, this isn't the only dog mishap on United, this week. For real, if you Google United Airlines dog, you'll see another story showing United's shameful track record. Right now, this dog right here is on a plane, but not with his family. They're moving to Kansas, and now they're at KCI, frustrated and worried because United Airlines don't know where their dog is at. Yeah, United Airlines sucks so much that they just put a dog from a domestic flight probably on a plane to Japan. The Swindle family just moved from Oregon to Kansas, but when they got off their plane, United presented them with a Great Dane, a dog that definitely is not their 10-year-old German Shepherd Ergo. Which means there's also a family in Japan that's like, where the f is my Great Dane? Now, United wants people to know that this kind of thing is intolerable. They tweeted, uh, huh. I guess they haven't mentioned either of these incidents publicly at all. That's a shame. You know what else is a shame? That 18 animals died on United flights last year. In fairness, United also transported more animals than any other airline. 
But it doesn't seem like much of a selling point if your company is boasting that your animal only has a 1 in 8,000 chance of dying on their flight. I want to give airlines some leeway because transportation with anybody can be tough, but United is responsible for 75% of all animal deaths during transportation last year. Last year, a five-year-old King Charles Spaniel named Lulu died in a United cargo hold after a two-hour delay on the tarmac and a giant rabbit named Simon was found dead during a layover from United. Oh, I remember that Simon story. Ugh, he was so cute. And that's just the animals. You'll notice that this video is already several minutes long. And we haven't even mentioned how they dragged Dr. David Dow out of his seat and off a plane last year. Author Tony Posnanski has pretty much summed up our thoughts on the topic. He tweeted, whether you're a Republican or Democrat, whether you voted for Hillary or Donald, whether you like chocolate or vanilla ice cream, one thing is universal. Everyone hates United Airlines. What do you think? Are we being too hard on United? Should we be boycotting them until they get their shit together? Let us know in the comments. And for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.